Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate another white Turks head knot bracelet. We're going to use a pineapple interweave this time, and to tie this bracelet, we're going to tie a variety of different knots. We're going to start by setting up a 3 part 8 byte Turks head, and we're then going to expand it into a 5 part 14 byte Turks head, and finally, we're going to add a pineapple interweave into the mix, which will complete our bracelet. Now, if we take a look at the supplies that we're going to use, we're going to need a mandrel, for which I am using a Pringles can. This can is about 3 inches in diameter. We're also going to need two cords, one longer one, which should be at least 6 feet long, and one shorter one, which should be about 4 feet long. We're also going to need a lacing needle, and with these four supplies ready, we can begin tying. I have attached my longer cord onto the mandrel, and I'm first going to do a wrap around. I'm going to come over the standing end, and go around again. I'm then going to go over towards the right side, and with my working end, I'm going to travel under, then over towards the left side. We now have three cords at the top, and I'm going to start with the middle one, and place it over the right one. Then with my left cord, the working end, I'm going to travel under, then over towards the right side. We have three cords again, and I'm going to pick up the middle one, and place it over the left one. Then with my right cord, which is the working end, I'm going to travel under, then over towards the left side. With this we have tied a 3 part 5 byte Turks head. We're going to expand it again, by picking up the middle end, and placing it over the right one. Then with the left cord, which is our working end, we're going to travel under, then over towards the right side. And again, three cords at the top, and we pick up the middle one, and place it over the left one. Then with our right cord, we travel under, then over towards the left side. With this we have tied a three part 8 byte Turks head. We're now going to expand it, and the first thing we're going to do is double up our standing end. So we're going to travel under, then over towards the right side. We're now going to double up this cord, going on the left side of it, going over, under, over. We're now going to double up this cord, going on the right side of it, over, under, over. And again, we're going to double up this cord, going on the left side of it, over, under, over. And this cord, going on the right side of it, over, under, over. And one more time, we're going to double up this cord, so travel over, under, over. We have now set up the tracks which we now need to split, and the first tracks that we're going to split are these, which include the standing end, and we're going to start with an over, then go under, and over. Now 
Then we move on to the next pair of tracks. Spread them apart. Then under, over, under, over. And the next set of tracks, again spread them apart and do the same sequence. So, under, then over, under, and over. And the next pair. Under, over, under, and over. And then the next pair. Under, over, then under, and over. And we're now at our final pair. This pair. And again, we start with an under. Then go over, under, and over. With this we have tied our 5 part Turk's head and we're now going to place our working end next to the standing end and this will complete our knot. Now what I like to do is work in some slack to make my interweave a bit easier. So I pull in my working end and then loosen up the knot by working in some slack. As you can see, I have worked in some slack into the knot, which makes it look nicer, but more importantly, it makes it easier to work with. I'm now going to pick up a shorter piece of cord, which is about 4 feet long, and I'm going to attach it onto the left side of the standing end. We're now going to start our interweave, which starts with an under 2. Then we travel over one and under one. We're then going to travel towards the left side, going under, then over and under. And we're going to repeat the same sequence again. So under, over, under. And again, the same sequence, under, over, under. And again, under, over, under. And again, as you can see, we repeat our sequences quite a few times because this is a wide Turk's head knot. And again, under, over, under. And again, under, over, under. And one more time. Under, over, under. We're now going to switch up our sequence a bit by going under. Then over 2, which splits a pair, then under 1. And again, same sequence, under, 
over 2 under 1. And again, under 1 over 2 under 1. And again, under over 2 under 1. And again, same sequence, under, over, two, under, one. And again, under, over, two, under, one. Under, over, two, under, one. Under one over two under one and again under over two under one and one more time under over two under one. Now we're going to change the sequence and we're going to start with an under two then over 2 and under 1 and we are again going to repeat this sequence quite a few times so under 2 over 2 under 1 then under 2 over 2 under 1 and you can see the pineapple interweave forming on the bottom side Continue again, under 2, over 2, under 1. Then, under 2, over 2, under 1. And again, under 2, over 2, under 1. Under 2, over 2, under 1. Under 2. Then over 2 and under 1. And finally, under 2, over 2 and under 1. And we now place our working end next to the standing end of the same color. Like this. And with this we have done our pineapple knot interweave. We would now join the two ends together by either melting them or by tying a decorative knot. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that the bracelet will come in handy. With that said, thank you for joining me and see you next time.